Welcome back. It's 642 here. Fourth of July celebrations are known for food, fun, and fireworks. They can also pose some serious dangers if people are not careful. Dr. Rick Gimble from Dooley Health and Care joins us now here this morning to talk about the Ricks. Good morning, doctor. Thanks so much for joining us and uh, giving us a little bit of your time this Thursday morning. Good morning, JC. Let's first talk about firework safety here. Obviously, most consumer fireworks like fountains, repeaters, and Parachutes are illegal in Illinois, but people still buy them from neighboring states. What type of injuries do you guys see at the emergency room? Well, this is the time of the year for, for firework injuries. Um, about 70% of all burn injuries are during this time of the year. So we're seeing uh, burns in, in terms of uh, skin burns, as well as um, some of the other safety issues that come with having people around fireworks. Yeah, we've also seen, you know, some high profile injuries like the NFL star uh, Jason Pierre-Paul a couple years back. He actually lost some fingers in an incident there. We, we do move on to sparklers here. Those are also illegal in Chicago. Why are they so dangerous for kids? Well, sparklers actually burn at about 2000 degrees Fahrenheit, wow. and that is hot enough to burn metal. So it, it easily can be damaging to skin as well. Um, eye protection is also important um, with, with sparklers with young children. So make sure that those young children are highly supervised if you're going to allow them to hold them. Um, keeping this and fireworks uh, with the professionals is always the best. Yeah, we do know that nobody actually sets out to get injured. There's just things that unfortunately do happen, but they are preventable, especially for the parents. They need to uh, be extra vigilant this time of year. Let's move on here to food safety before we do fire up the grill. What's the best way to clean it? Is it still safe to use a grill brush? Well, grill brushes are an interesting um, discussion today. Uh, sometimes those grill brushes can have small pieces of metal that can get caught in meat. So grill brushes are important, but it would be also very important to wipe this down with uh, either a rag or they do make specialty brushes now that are all fabric to help clean that grill. Yeah, I think I saw a case of a child who actually ate a piece of that metal and it came lodged in his throat, created all sorts of issues. So probably just best to avoid that. Uh, last question here, doctor. What is the most common food safety issues that we should be looking out for at these barbecues? Well, two come to mind. One would be separating all of your raw meats from all of your vegetables. Make sure you have practiced great hand washing between handling your salads and your raw meats. Um, your, your meats are gonna be cooked to a, a temperature safe enough to eat, so not raw. And your, your vegetables and salads, make sure if they have any products like mayonnaise in them, that you're keeping them uh, only out less than one hour. After one hour, you can start to have uh, bacterial pathogens that could cause food poisoning. Yeah, we'll bring out the meat thermometer, of course, and uh, we'll make sure to put those perishables in the refrigerator. Dr. Gimbel, thank you so much for your time and a happy holiday to you and your family. Thank you, JC. Same to all of you.